Hi guys. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. And happy Zach's birthday. Zach's, are you out there? The chair's a little high. Whoop. I'm alive. Yes, guys, I'm here. I'm barely alive. Story of my life. Zach's, there he is. Everybody say happy birthday to Zach's. So he is who chose. He, oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized I was found out last stream, but I was calling someone a girl and they weren't a girl. <laughs> so Zach's. I don't know if Zach's is a girl or a boy, so I apologize. <laughs> I ha I'm not gonna try to gender you guys all the time, okay? <laughs> I call everyone guys, but happy birthday, Zach's. There we go, beautiful. Confirmed, Zach's a boy. <laughs> if Paige is here, can we just, uh, sorry Paige. <laughs> um, if we give enough cakes, will you sing? You guys want me to sing happy birthday live. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't have the greatest singing voice. Everyone says yes. Guys, I don't, it's, we'll leave. Everybody will leave. You guys don't come here for me to sing. You come here to paint. Am I right? <laughs> you guys kill me. Of course, I'm just like running. Sing while I paint. Oh, you guys, you guys came for dinner and a show. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I'm running behind story of my life. Look, I didn't even open the canvas yet. I looked at the clock and I was like, wow, is that it's 7.45. It's time to pay Mickey Mouse. Okay. We got to thank Zach's because a lot of people are pumped on Mickey. Um, he chose it because I let him choose. It's his birthday. Uh, birthday boy decides, obviously. And... Um, when I posted that we were doing Mickey, so many people freaked out about it. Even one of my girlfriends from Australia, shout out V, she's gonna watch this later. She was like, are you recording this? Because our time zones are so different. She can't come for the live, but she loves Mickey. So, perfect day. We've got Mickey's across the land. Hello, Dresden. What else we got here? Nikki, Alo, cake day. Daryl's here, hello, who else down here? Dee Dee, hope everyone here is safe. I hope you're safe too. Sweet angel. Who doesn't love Mickey, exactly. And you know what, you guys? Luckily, he has been um, heavily already, um, what you called it, stolen on the internet. There's so many people who teaching you how to draw Mickey so like I didn't even draw this outline today I found it right off the internet I don't know for where though maybe I should write that in my YouTube comment I'll shout out that picture we love Mickey Charles Jenny Jersey that means y'all are here I saw you guys were at Disneyland recently so jealous we don't have those in Canada and that's so funny Justin yeah we're doing a cartoon mouse with shorts not Mickey. We're not copywriting nothing here today. Just kidding. I wrote photo credit Walt Disney Pictures now at the bottom. Let's get real, okay? We know that I didn't invent Mickey. I'm just going to bring this a little closer. Um, we know that I didn't invent Mickey. Let's get real, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Your favorite painter, random guy. It's my favorite random guy. <laughs> How are you? Always love having you here. Let me get the shapes out of the way for now. Love the enthusiasm as usual. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? What else did I forget? My water bottle's over here. But uh, Justin's just catching um, the copyright there. Because I just put on my website a bunch of things that potentially could be copyright infringed. They shouldn't be because public figures are actually public domain, which I learned in art school, so I believe it too. <laughs> but like I can't, Kobe is incorporated. The word Kobe is incorporated by Kobe Incorporated. It's actually a company called Kobe Incorporated. And I may or may not have got a cease and desist from the house. It may happen. <laughs> Kobe equals basketball, a guy with purple shirt. I think I did tribute KB basketball picture or something. 
At first just said <laughs> purple basketball guy, but I just felt like it was... I have to make it a little bit better than that. Oh, so you're Alibaba now? <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, you guys. You guys know I'm a painter for the people, remember? Painting for the people. So, I am just gonna post. Swipe to paint. You guys always get behind the scenes. I got in a little, not in like trouble trouble, but I'm not allowed to sell my Kobe prints on Etsy anymore because Kobe Incorporated flagged it. Yeah. So I just don't want to fight with it because Etsy is like, I don't want to lose my Etsy store. It's a great, like it's important to my business. So I'm not going to fight them on it. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I didn't name it Kobe, I have the right. I sell prints of it. I sell prints of it. That's what I do. I'm a celebrity portrait artist, basically. So it's like this weird gray area of fine, I mean, of um, fan art, sorry, is the word that I'm trying to say. Um, needy, hey, Tay Tay, hey, hey, hey. Um, but yeah, that's like what my, like I paint celebrities, basically. Link my Etsy, it literally is gonna pop up at the bottom down here. Um, it's Tay Tayski as well. I'm Tay Tayski on Instagram, I'm Tay Tayski on Etsy, I'm Tay Tayski on YouTube. Across the board, y'all should find me if you give a good search of Tay Tayski, um, but it should pop up at the bottom there. Uh, Twitter, my Twitter is Tay Tay Tayski. Oh yeah, Dresden, you know. I've been mildly, not fully harassing the girl whose name is Tay Tayski on it because she doesn't use it anymore you guys uh, so I feel like I should have it right but that's fine um, you reached out about that to whom to Tay Tayski herself because I literally emailed her and Facebook messaged her and she's probably like who is this freak Twitter friend well can't say no to that yeah, I guess that's a real question. How long does a Twitter account have to be dead before it can die and someone else can have it? We'll just let, wow, she did just start going. Thanks for letting me know. Let's just try that again. Let's see if that works. And sorry guys, look at me just gabbing away. We're gonna start painting our Mickey Mouse right about now after I post this. Swipe up to paint. Cool, cool, cool. Beauty. Did it slow down a little bit? Okay, everyone, we've got a good group of people. We've already talked about it. It's Zach's birthday. Why is that still? And now I'm lagging. I hate the internet. Hold up, hold up. don't understand. There should be no reason. Minimum of six months of nothing. Oh, okay, then we should, we should be good. Am I lagging for you guys as well? Sorry. Hello, are you techie? Everyone here, it's not a surprise I am not I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Okay. So everybody who is painting with us today and hasn't painted before, we're here to have fun. It's easy, not stressful. You can't paint anything wrong. You can paint over any of your mistakes. That's about it. I'm gonna start by teaching you how to paint it with a paintbrush, but if you are more comfortable with a pencil, feel free to grab a pencil. I just suggest don't press too hard on your surface. I'm using a canvas. I will bring paint pretty watery on canvas. If you're using paper, I would suggest to not use as much water as I suggest all the time. I feel like that's important for me to say. And I don't say it very often. Um, Ask questions, please. Never be scared to ask a question. I might be going fast. I talk fast. My brain goes everywhere. I try to talk to y'all and paint and teach, and it just sometimes get crazy. So if anytime I don't make sense, holler at your girl. And uh, I think that's it. 
Are we ready? Take a breath. We'll put up, oh, that's the wrong computer. We will put up the shapes. Oh, that's, it's a day already. Let's get this here. We've got the Mickey shapes in the bottom corner here. Just so that you can see it broken down. And sometimes it takes a little bit of stress off of people. When you can see it like that, it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit less intimidating. We're basically just painting a bunch of circles and beans today when I look at it there. So you're gonna get your black paint out and you're just gonna take not too much. Let me find mine first. I didn't stream all this week, so you guys, now I just forget how to do it. I'm just not prepared. Where's my black paint? And we're just gonna use this one. I was painting with earlier today. All right, painters, take out either your pencil or this little skinny, a skinny brush. The skinnier, the skinniest brush you've got. You are, let me bring my black up here so you can see it a little better. You are gonna take your paintbrush into your water and literally scoop it. Scoop with your paintbrush a bunch of water onto your palette. And give her a spin. And we're gonna be making like a chocolate milky consistency of paint. Like super, super light. You hardly want any paint in there. It's more water than paint. We want it to dry super light. This is just for us to lay down some light layers that we'll paint over top. Just mapping out where our little Mickey is gonna go. Doo, doo, doo. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, like it's literally water, you see? Ooh, it bubbling, eh, I don't know why. Okay. It keeps freezing on my computer, you guys. Is it freezing for you? I'm stressed. Okay, whew, that's a bonus. All right, we are gonna acknowledge our whole canvas and we're gonna see, oh, you guys are all good. Rosie's logging on at home. You guys, Rosie's here. That's a good day. Can't wait to see Rosie's Mickey. All right, I guess I have to take a breath. I'm the stressed one, apparently. So we are gonna look at our whole canvas and we are gonna acknowledge that his arms are gonna go out. We need space for his arms. We need space for his legs and his head. Cause it's very easy to either paint the circle way too big for his, his head and we will be painting Mickey off the page. We're doing it a little bit different than usual because I always used to like go close up. I zoom in the picture for you. We don't paint the body so that we can get more detail into it, but I believe in us with Mickey. Bring this right over here. Okay. We're gonna paint a little head for Mickey in the middle-ish, okay? We're using this chocolate milky paint and we are lightly just gonna give her a little circle. It can probably be a little bit bigger than that. See how I'm doing like lots of lines. It's not a perfect circle because it's very hard to paint a perfect circle at once. So see, I did as many lines as I could until the outer ring looks like a perfect circle to me. And remember, it doesn't matter because we're gonna be painting over top of it. If you're worried about using paint, use a pencil. There's no shame in the pencil. It's just if I use a pencil, you guys wouldn't see it from this far away, that's all. Okay. The only perfect circle is his ear, so if you mess up, you're good. Hey, that's like pretty true. You got two chances to make the ears. Again, it's not, what we're doing right now is not permanent. Like these lines are gonna be covered up. You can erase them, you can white out over top of them. It's all good, it's easy. I'm gonna keep saying it's easy until you guys are just like over it, okay? <laughs> 
So, from here, are you ready to do that ear? It's literally right on top. I wish we could be listening to Disney music right now, you guys. I truly do. But if this isn't copyrighted, then music for sure is. <laughs> And let's do another year. Straight to jail with me, literally. Let's do another year. Look at that, guys. It's basically Mickey. We're basically done. See, like, I made this ear a little lumpy. I'm just gonna go in with white after and fill that out. Nothing wrong with a little lumpy. I'm painting it like from an angle, so it's always a little off <laughs> for me. I apologize. <laughs> but I'm an artist that always paints off the borders by accident. I always paint too big, so today I was very conscious with you guys to keep it. Keep them in check. Okay, so we've got his head basically ready to go. So why don't we just draw some arms right out the side? Let's go right about an inch down from his other ear and just make a line going kind of angled up. Boop. The same distance on this side. Boop. It almost looks like a mouse with a mustache or like a stick man going, yay. <laughs> I feel like ours will all look like this at this point. Oh, look at you guys. I'm a terrible, I didn't even say my trademark phrase from the beginning. Trusting the process. Your Mickey Mouse is gonna look weird. Look at this, what is this at the moment, right? But you gotta trust the process and don't give up and keep painting. Cause it'll turn out in the end, I promise. That's a tailor guarantee, okay? We've got some arms going off the side. Right? And let's just cap him off to as long, or as thick as his arms will be. Do you see how on this side I curved, the lines curved outwards, and same on this side, it's curved outwards. There's a lot of water in there, so it's about to drip. It doesn't, that's by accident. There we go. We're still using that chocolate milk consistency. We're still, or pencil if you're with the pencil. It's not time for drips. Hey, if you want it to drip, you can let it drip. I just don't want to confuse people because drips drip wherever they want. And if somebody sees a drip where mine goes and theirs goes somewhere else, it might stress one out, you know? I don't want that. I joke, I joke, I kid, I know. But you're not wrong. It's always time for drips, if you ask me. Okay. Our Mickey's face is gonna come a little bit lower than that original circle that we drew, and that's okay. We are gonna draw his body before we draw the end of these arms. Sorry if my jumping around is just annoying today. Okay. We are gonna draw a body. And it's basically just a bean in the middle. We're drawing an oval egg shape. It's gonna be longer than we think because it's gonna be going down to the bottom of his shorts is kind of visually where we're about to draw this shape. So come around, see how skinny he is in the picture that we're doing. And let's go down to about here. Oops. And we are gonna cap it off this direction. It's not gonna be a straight line up. It's gonna be like this concave. What is the word? Somebody help me. Concave, convex. Does that, it doesn't work on a flat surface. 
is going to be curved the same direction that we made the other side of his body because he's curved in his happy hello. Does that make sense? <laughs> Let me see, Mickey. Perfect. And now that we know where his body is, now you can bring that line straight up to his arm. Same on this side. Just made his ear a little big, but we'll fix that. Okay. So with those handy little shapes that I stole from somebody down below. We can see at the end here. I'm going to save you one little part of the step, just so we don't have to erase it, but you can if you want. From the end of the arm that we did, we're just going to draw another circle around. Whoop. But you don't have to cap it, you can stop it at the arm. I'm still using the chocolate milky consistency. Is Mickey 92 this year? Ooh. How old is Mickey Mouse? I believe you. Mickey Mouse is 91, so yeah, you're right. He was born November 18th, 1928. Holy moly. That's crazy, you guys. Yeah, so like he'll be 92 in November, I'm just, I think is what that means, right? He's old, we need to add wrinkles to his face. <laughs> yeah. What a timeless character, you guys. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we are at the end of his name. If you, we'll bring in an extra step and make him a little grandpa. Okay, so... On this side, his arm is going to be going the other direction. So the circle is going to go this opposite way. Now you can draw the full beam. But the direction that we make the ovals go and the curves go is how we show like 3D without having to shade. Justin needs that skincare routine. <laughs> That's a good one. How's the Mickey's, you guys? for some hands I'm gonna do them a little bit different than the picture shows um, the doodles on the down at the bottom here show Oops. we are just from this little curve the circle that we made that's the sleeve of his glove or the whatever the cuff of his glove and we are gonna draw a line straight out You can even curve it down a little bit if you want. And you'll curve it at the top like a triangle coming back down. And we'll add a thumb in there. Hands are not fun for anybody, so we're just going to do the simplest hands that can be. out of this little shape of cheese, this block of cheese basically that we just drew. We are gonna give another little bean facing towards his ear. It almost looks like a mouse head in itself. This could be a giraffe almost, hey? 
Oh, hands, I fake it too. Don't you worry, Dresden. Hands are literally the bane of my existence. <laughs> I try to just avoid them in my paintings. Like I put them, I just like pose the person in a way that their hands aren't on it. Or I, like you said, fake it. I like fudge, just tucking my shirt in. Or just fudge up shapes and paint blobs. Thanks for just putting all these hands in there, Justin. A sneaky way <laughs> to contribute to this conversation. <laughs> okay. And then we've got this side and we're gonna basically do, oh, one more Justin thing. Remember my illustration project with no faces or heads? <laughs> It's, it almost looked like this, really. <laughs> okay, we've got another block of cheese to draw on this side, okay? So we are gonna bring the hand out, just go straight and even curve it up a little bit. And bring up the block of cheese and bring it back down. Maybe that's not a cheese. What else does that look like? I'm just thinking cheese, cause he's the mouse. And then let's bring it up here. Another little egg. They're basically hands, right? It's either giraffe or cheese, in my opinion. Okay, so we've almost got this little guy going. Now let's make some legs on him. His pants are gonna come in above all these lines. Remember, these are just to help us out. We really want our paint watered down. We don't want it to be going on thick. Like you can't feel a difference when you rub your hand over that line. It's thin, thin, thin or it's pencil. Oh, Justin sneaking in a little Putin uni. Do they have the same belly? Yeah. And a pit. Justin, if you could get it in the budget, it looks like a potato. You just, I can't even. <laughs> you got, you just turned me into a fool. Like a dang is right. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. The kindest soul in the world. I don't, I didn't try to draw it like a potato to get that potato. I so <laughs> Just like, I'm not, I ain't saying the word. I ain't saying the word. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Sorry guys. Look at me just caught up in that precious potato. Just thinking about it. Add into the jar with just from thinking about it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Where are we going now? I'm frazzled. Okay, now we're going to his legs. So we are following the shape that we started. You know how we curved it out? Because he's like, wait. We are going to bring this line. We're going to follow the line to make his legs on down. See, it's not straight out from his body, it's curved. Whoop. Justin, you went to art school with me, or maybe other people know too. What is it called? Remember when your hips are one way, so your shoulders are the other? It's like a pose. It's called like, uh, does it start with a C? Oh, Justin's not here right now, darn. I can't remember it at the moment. It'll come to me, it'll come to me. Okay. You don't know. Cole it's something, it's something. When your shoulders go one way, your hips automatically go the other way. So artists like are always, you have to be really conscious of that when you're drawing things. And it goes into characters too, like character design. I'll figure out the word by the end of the stream. We'll get it going. Okay, so we've got that curved leg. And we're gonna do the same on this side, okay? But we're gonna curve it out even more. Cause he's got some pizzazz, this Mickey. But I always use the line that we've always made. I start up there and I continue on down to make that line go out. Okay. 
Coming along. Contraposto! Dressed in the fact checker. Contraposto nailed it. So guys, you know I always sneak in as little, my little art school tips and tricks without having to put you through a whole class. That is one thing. If you're ever designing a character, know that if the hips are opposite, then the top has to be opposite as well. Being in my area, working on the lamp one still, you guys. I haven't bought a new lamp, but not. I'm not saying that because I need funds for the lamp. <laughs> it's because I'm just deciding to stop it. It's because I'm just deciding what type of lamp, that's all. Okay. So we've got the line, we've got the line. Now let's pick about how thick we want that little leg. I don't know, is that an inch? I'm really bad at judgment of characters here. You guys with the lamp funds. <laughs> We're gonna draw a there. And on this side, imagine however thick you made this leg. Oh, Bumsy too. Thank you guys. <laughs> We're gonna make a little, the same thickness on this side. You've got a little line. Our Mickey's coming to life, people. Right? How's everyone's at home? How we feeling? I haven't heard from the painters in a while, so I don't know what that means. Okay. We've got that. Now, we're on to his legs, okay? So remember how we were playing with the direction of the circles to make it look like it is in space, the back of space, etc., etc. We are going to go down here. And the circle is going to be outwards because we're looking down at it. So you're going to cut off that leg with a curved outward circle. Same on this side. A curved outwards half circle. For some people, maybe it's easier for you to draw the whole circle like this. Maybe that's easier. Go for it. If you want to just cap it off, you can go in that direction too and not have to worry about that other line. But Mickey's legs are black and you can wear a paint right over top of that. And then once again, you're going to draw one more circle around the bottom of that leg. Like a donut. And same with this side. But we're going to start on the left and bring it around here. Or like some little anklets he's got on. A donut. Stop it, you guys. Both of you at the same time got the donut. I have to like memorize the props and just keep those words out of my vocabulary so you guys stop dropping all of them. You sweet angels. Okay. Okay, we're going. Now we're gonna draw his little feet, but they're not little, they're actually ginormous. And we're gonna take up the whole bottom of the page with these feet. So the first one we're gonna draw is this one, because realistically it should be in the front. And you're gonna start, it's almost what we were doing with this donut, but we're just making it more bubbled out at the end, okay? So we're gonna start at the edge of this donut here. We're gonna come on down like Bob Barker. Then when you get to the bottom of the page, you're just gonna loop that guy straight up. For some people, it might be easy to do it all in one hand motion to come all the way back around, but for some people, maybe you need to let go where I did. And just attach it. We're lucky that he's just very simple. His feet are just obnoxiously big. Did I make them way bigger than I should have? Maybe. I think what I did was made his hands way smaller than they should be. And we'll deal with that when we get there. <laughs> We're on it. We're on this ride together, you guys. Okay. And now let's go to this little booty on this side. And same thing, right? We're going to start at the back end where the first donut that we did. Yeah, trust the process. Literally, I got to do it too. <laughs> um, we're going to come down. And remember, hit the bottom of the page. And we'll 
break. Oh, that's a ginormous foot. And you'll come back around. TM, yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'm actually making some merch with that. I wasn't lying. Trust the process hoodies are a thing. They're in the process, I swear. A couple different ones, actually. Okay. Which is kind of cool. That's exciting. Okay. We've got the booties. We've got a couple. We have black also. It's, there's going to there's be some eccentric ones as well because who am I as a person as I yawn? <laughs> oh, Zach's. Will they ever? Some will have drips. Some will have glitter. Some will have tie-dye. And some will be simple as well for my minimalists out there. Zach's well played is right. Okay, so we've got some booties. We've got most of him together. Now it's time to kind of get some details in there and then we'll start painting, okay? So this line, some of you, maybe you should do it with a pencil. Just you really got to trust that you're doing this with a really, really light, light, hardly. Can you see on my canvas, on my palette here? Like see how this is basically... Like light gray water. Yeah, you can't hardly tell. When you make this line, it has to be so light because you don't want it to pop up underneath your light colors. But this line will really help us map things out properly. Okay? So you are going to draw a line straight down the middle of your Mickey's face. And this is basically only water. You can use a pencil if you want to really lightly. And then this line, we're going to go to the bottom of that center line we already did. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to follow the curve that we did. Remember how this line is the same as this line curve? Well, this light line in the middle is also going to follow that curve. Do you see that? Mine's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. It's just to help us out. Does that make sense? this is the middle of his body so that'll help us plan out where we're gonna put those circles how we're gonna dip that little sh short line and that's gonna help us map out his face centered in the middle okay so we're still using our watered down paint and we are going to draw that Mickey's face. Okay, so we look. Remember, always look at your reference photo. Oh, it's on this side. Um, it's always important to look at your reference photo to see where you're making these points. See where I'm looking at to help you. So in the middle of this face, we see that his light color starts right from the middle. There's basically a black triangle, right? And then his face curves up. And it follows the same outside shape of that original circle we did. We can do that on the other side as well. Does that make sense a little bit? See now how we're building that classic Mickey face. Whoop, whoop. And then you're gonna bobble it out. And it's okay if it comes outside of that original circle that we drew. That's so okay. I'll draw it a little darker for you guys so that you can see. All right, we made that triangle right at the top with that center line that we drew. And then we curved up and we followed the outside of the circle till about the bottom third. Right? And then we curved out again to a little bit outside of the original circle we drew. There we go. 
Let's see how that line came. This is where my original circle was. It's below. And again, about to the middle. Yell at me if you want me to slow down. And you're gonna do a little U, a shallow U at the bottom. How is that? I see a Mickey in there. I'm pretty sure I just, we have to make his hands bigger, but that's easy. Zax is good. We're ready to continue. I'm excited to see everybody's. All the different Mickeys is the best part. Okay. Let's get up into those cutie little shorts. Again, you're still using that watered down consistency. I know you're probably like so annoyed with me saying that over and over and over again, but I'm noticing that we'll just get this out of the way now. We don't need that. Go away. There we go. Okay, we're still using that wore down consistency or a pencil. And remember, we drew this middle line down the center of his body. And you're going to look again, look at the picture and see how much body he has before his short start. He's high rising, which came back in style, didn't it? For a 91 year old, he's killing it. Okay. Now we are gonna draw a circle again. We're gonna cut the top of those shorts off, but it's gonna be curved down because his belly's like protruding out, okay? And you are using this center line. So let's just bring this line on down. And when you get to that center line, then you'll bring it back on, oops. Bring it back on up. I made it a little bit. Oops. If you're using canvas and you don't like where you put a line, you can get a, a cloth, a paper towel, anything really wet and just kind of wipe away the line that you don't want. If it's wet still. See how we curved down and came back up. That's going to show the 3D-ness of his shorts. What is... Alrighty. Now, if you want to make him fatter, you can bring out his belly a little bit, but we're coming on down to his shorts. The bottom of his shorts. Again, always look at your reference photo. It always helps when you're starting to lay stuff out. But you can see about how long you want his legs to be outside of his shorts. I'm going to say another inch and a half. And let's just cap them off. Those are pretty long. Let's say two inches. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my brain is everywhere today. <laughs> and why nothing's erasing for me. We're just gonna go a touch over top of that line that I just drew. Look guys, if I don't stream all week, then I forget how to do it. So we've got those shorts. It can be a pretty straight line, curved downwards again if you want to match the top part of the shorts. And we're gonna bring that line up. And you can even use that line that you've already drawn to be the middle crease of the crotch. We're gonna paint this all red, so we're just laying out the shape, but. And just come a tiny touch taller than the shorts you already drew and do the same thing right on over top of those legs. See what I mean by a tiny touch taller than these shorts? I know it's getting confusing because there's lots of lines under there. And 
from that short, you're just gonna draw straight up till you reach his belly. And lastly, you're just gonna cup off. See how this is just another little oval, basically. From the line of the shorts, you're just gonna bring it on down till you touch his leg. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't think I acknowledged that Mickey Mouse had a tail. Like I knew he had a tail, like I know mice have tails. But in this picture, seeing that little long tail is like weird to me for some reason. Do like at Disneyland, the big Mickey Mice, do they have, does he have a tail? Does he have a tail? No, right? I feel like he doesn't have a tail. He must have used to have a tail. Maybe in his old age now he doesn't have a tail. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Like in Fantasia, does Mickey have a tail? I don't remember. Okay, do okay. Imagine 16 year olds pulling it. Yeah, I can imagine. That's true. This is why we can't have nice things. Okay, you guys, if you are like me because I just taught you how to do it and you think your hands are too small, guess how easy it is for us to fix it. You're just going to go above. Oops, not that big. You're just going to go outside of the lines that you already drew to make it just a touch bigger. See what I mean? And same on this side. You can make it a touch bigger. By just going over the lines we already did. All right, it looks scary, but our, we're trusting the process, right? Do you guys want, should we draw his tail? Is this correct? Is this anatomically? <laughs> Anatomically? <laughs> Anatomically correct, is that the word? <laughs> okay, Dresden fact checked it. It's right, we're making it happen. Guess how easy it takes. Oh, no, we're not. I lied to you. We'll do the tail after we do the background, you guys. Okay, I guess, I again, I'm the one that's just stressing everyone out. Let's just, I'll take a breath. And we'll get ready to paint most of our little Mickey. Because we basically got it. This is basically him. Now it's just sloshing some color around. What's nice about Mickey is that there is no like shading. Like it's a flat, 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 simple. We're just going to slob some color in there. I can teach you some drips and some splashes if you guys want. If Zax wants, of course. Slob prop yet? Justin, is there a slob prop? Not that I know of. Sorry guys, I'm just so busy in my life that I haven't been able to give all my attention to streaming like I have been. I'm s I hate it, I love streaming. Is it a painting without drips? Pfft. Too shay. Too shay. Alrighty then, folks. What we are going to do, this is a step that does not have to happen for everybody. It is just in case you are worried about your quality of paint at home. Not everybody has the same quality of paint. Some people's whites or maybe your yellow or maybe your red won't paint over the black as well as you want it to. So if that is possibly the case for you, um, I would suggest Again, if you trust your paints, don't worry about it. Like I would, I, I personally wouldn't usually do this, but if you are struggling at home, and again, if this problem comes up when we're painting other parts, then you know what to do. You can go in with just pure white paint, okay? Oh, Rosie, of you went ahead and started coloring his pants and shoes. Please do. You know what's up. I'm just helping those who don't. 
So you're going to take this white if you are going to worried about your paint covering up these spots. And you're just going to slob it on, okay? See those lines that you don't want? Use your white paint and you can literally just cover up all of those lines. Like same in his face. Like maybe you don't trust your paint. To cover up those lines so you can use this extra layer to just cover that up or like for example in these hands right hey bye get rid of those lines I'm not worrying too much I'm kind of slobbing it on there a little bit of water but this is a good way to Prep your surfaces for your big, bright, fresh colors that we are going to be putting on there soon. But see already how that cleaned up a little bit? If you're using a pencil, not on canvas, but on paper, you could use an eraser, but don't erase on canvas. It doesn't go well, usually. Okay, so how we're going to start is we're going to try to catch up to Rosie. And we are going to just get our pure black paint out. You can take out a brush of any size that you want. I'd say bigger than the thin one that we're using. You can use like a squarish one. You can use a circle one. Right? Um, you can use whatever works for your painting. Like some of your canvases might be smaller than this. So maybe you do need to use a smaller brush. Completely up to you. Rosie, to make peach color for his face, do I mix white, red, and yellow? Yes, you do. More, the most white, you take most white, a little, mo, a little, little bit of red, and a tiny touch of yellow, and start playing around with that. So most white, then the second amount of red, and then the least is yellow. But good job, Rosie. Okay, you, you knew it already. So now, when we are coloring in shapes, and we are using our black. We're not using that chocolate milky consistency anymore. We're ditching that. We are going for more paint than water. So you still are, I feel like now my paint eye bottom is just like not even going at all. You're just gonna do a dab, like you can put your paintbrush into your water and then go right into the thick paint and swoosh your paintbrush around a little bit. And let's start painting, okay? So one thing that I always suggest when we are coloring stuff in is to be very conscious of your brush strokes of like which direction. Like I wouldn't sometimes you can obviously paint however you want, but oh no, I just painted it really thick and that's fine. But I'm going to go only up and down. I'm always going to go in the same direction. I'm not going to go up, down, side to side. I'm going to just always paint in the same direction. So I keep that smooth consistency going the whole way Whoop. sometimes when you paint it sporadically it'll just make him look really rough and he's more smooth but if you want him to look rough go for it there's no right or wrong all right we're coloring all of his arms and his body here in Oops, if you, here's always a good, see how the paint kind of gets like sandpapery right here, how you can see all the places in the canvas, but down here you can't. That just means there's not enough water on your paintbrush. So that's how you get that dry brush effect, which again, I always say it's not a bad effect, but if that is happening to you and you're noticing that your paint isn't pulling far, it's just because your paintbrush might be a little dry, that's all. And same down here. I'm just going to go up and down or down and up to fill in those legs under his shorts. And again, that like white out technique that I just showed you guys in color, like in whiting out those extra spots in his clothes. You can use like the, that as the opposite effect too. Like maybe like how I just made his arm a little chubbier here than I anticipated. Once this dries, I can go with a paint, like a slob of white and kind of cut away into that arm to thin it out. 
if that makes sense. Literally white it out, like the white out that you used to use in school or at work or whatever. Same on this side, like if I want to thin out this arm, I'm just going to bring some white up. Once it's dry, you want your paint to be dry. Okay. And same up here. I'm just going to cover in the dark that's on the side of his face. There's a little triangle. And his ears. Remember like, oh, maybe I don't like that line. Not a big deal. I can either, whatever color we decide to make the background, or you can do that white out thing with white paint. For some of your white paints, maybe you'll have to do a layer or two. That's totally okay. But just let it dry in between them. And another ear. How's that? So you guys don't worry, it's messy in some spots. It's all good. I might have even made him a little long, but that's fine. We'll paint the tail on top of the background. And like I said, we won't worry about his tail until we decide on a background first too. We won't worry about what else? Like cleaning up these lines. If you have some messy lines, you can do your white out effect if you like. What are you guys feeling for a background? Should we do a drippy background? Should we color it in solid? What you feeling? Just white now while I wait. Your wife says drippy. Perfect. Drippy's fun. We'll do drippy. I like how your wife thinks. Okay. This might be also a good time for you guys to get new water because our water we're using black paint, right? So our water might be a little mucky and gray. So once we start using other colors, it'll really uh, ruin the brightness of them. So I'm gonna go grab some more water. Feel free to do the same. And we will um, go to the background next. What color drips do you guys think we should do? He is like peachy, white, red, and yellow. Like blue is always easy. Zach's favorite color is green. Well then green it is, cause green is my favorite color too. Okay. Let's get this. Be right back out of there. Fun fact, Mickey's first iteration of his name was Mortimer. Mortimer Mouse. Hmm. How do you guys feel about Mortimer? 
I don't know how I feel about that. Because Mickey's been, what, is almost 100 years old. Disney's wife made him change it. Would you look at that? Mortimer Mouse. I'm loving that we just learn something new every stream. Thanks to Dresden's um, Google, Googling. I'm here, it's a vital. No, what are you apologizing for? It is vital to the stream. Okay, whew. So we've got green as the favorite background color. I mean, as the favorite color to make as the background. <laughs> that just went astray there. Should we do like lots? What type of green are we going with today? Light green permanent? I'm just not into the jams today. Like that green? Yep, yeah, let's do it. So again, guys, it doesn't have to be green for you. Do literally whatever color you want. But we're gonna have a little fun with the background, okay? You can bring out the biggest brush you got. Make it square. Rosie's hitting the wall, so she's heading to bed, but she'll finish tomorrow. No worries, Rosie. You'll send what she's done tonight. Here, we can show it now if you sent it now. Just so that everyone else can see where she's at, at least. Let me see here. I know, I do them late. Sorry, you guys. Come on, come on, come on. The internet is frozen. Well, we get for wait for that. And of course, you guys know I post on my stories whenever if Rosie tags me in them. Also, Rosie, thank you for your package. I can't start our painting yet, but I will soon. I love it. And Penny, who I'm sure is sleeping. Thank you too, Penny. Okay, you guys, to do our drippy backgrounds, we need a mixture of, oh, did I show? You want like a big brush, like a square brush, maybe a circular brush. I actually want to use the square, so I don't know why. I just intuitively went to that one. Okay, here we go. Okay, you guys. Here's Rosie painting up. Look at it, colored already. Nailing it. Look at that! Wow, <laughs> so cute already. Well, amazing as always. 100% well done. I agree. Good job, Rosie. You sleep good, we'll see you next time. Okay, we're back to background. Sorry, guys. Okay. Just realized I blinked and time flew by. So you're going to get your green or your blue or whatever color you want. And you're going to make a little bit of that chocolate milky consistency, but you're also going to keep some thick paint on the side as well. And I think it should probably drip upwards, hey? And you are just literally, you know the drill, schlob on that paint. The almost chocolate milky consistency one. And when you come above his head, you're gonna dip your brush back into the water and back into your paint until you get those drip effects that you want. We're just schlobbing, right? Schlob, schlobbing. And to cover up some of our lines that we did, you can go right up to it. Before we were talking about um, like being conscious of your brush strokes going the same direction, but heck, when it's the background, you kind of want it to be like textured and cool, so go for it. Go in a bunch of different directions. You can come up to but not touching your Mickey, or you can touch the Mickey with the paint if you want to come right up straight to him. And your paintbrush is loaded with water, so like if you push, I'll show you. 
If you've dipped it in water a couple times and mixed it around in your paint, I'm lightly touching the canvas, but then if I push hard, I release some of the drip out of my paintbrush. Does that make sense? And I like, like the randomness of it, like where there's drips in some places, but not the other. Right? You can come up in his ear, like, look, ooh, this one's dripping down his arm a little bit. What can you do? What's fun too, when your paint is this wet, like you can mix in another color, like maybe another value of green that you like, or you can mix some yellow in there, maybe some blue. But when it's really watery, it'll blend all nicely together. Ooh, maybe not that color. Maybe that's an ugly color. Eh, whatever. What does it look like on the screen to you guys? And with that watery paint, you can blend it into some of your other light green spots to get a more dynamic background. Or you don't have to, you can use just one. Or you can mix white in there, that could maybe be cool. We're just slobbing around paint and having a good time. Am I right? You can even spin it back around. And remember guys, I don't paint all the way to the edge of the canvas. I'm, uh, I like to see it all messy and brush strokey, um, but that doesn't mean you have to. It drives some people crazy. So if you don't like the messy look, paint it flush by all means. I would probably try to avoid the green dripping into the shoe base because it's gonna be yellow and yellow is tough to paint over top of stuff. It doesn't have the greatest opacity. Opacity? I can't talk today, you guys. Oh, look, and I just changed brushes halfway through. Didn't even notice. I can't talk any day, so we're good. <laughs> hey, I'd fight that. At least you can type right every day. <laughs> Most of the time when I forget a word, y'all are on it. This is just like Mickey welcoming you to Disneyland. With that big bush behind it. That's just what I remember when I went to Disneyland. There was like a big garden with the statue of Mickey and Walt Disney. But I never remember if I went to World or Land. Which one is in Florida? Florida? Yeah, Florida. Orlando. I think it's World. World, yes. Okay, so I've been to World, not Land. The music's just quiet, slow today. Remember you guys, if you want drips, just load up that brush with water and paint and just push hard, get some drippies. I think it's cool when you have drips in both directions. I think that's fun. Also gotta update your title, I caught it. Oh my gosh. Uh, guys, I'm the most unprofessional <laughs> streamer ever. <laughs> You're not fired, I'm fired. Um, there's like such a checklist of things to do and I miss like six of them every time. Uh, Mickey. Technology strikes again, just me not. There we go. Man, oh man. Okay, there we go. 
Um, and then for all y'all who know I love a little glitter, if your girlfriend has some glitter at home, if you have glitter of your own in your craft set, this is the perfect time. Hello, Stacy, doing the background so early. I know. I know. Just I'm not myself today. Changing things up left, right, and center. Um, this is a perfect time to put glitter in it, you guys. So let me see what I got down here. Since the background is wet. Glitter, yes, exactly. Now is a perfect time to just sprinkle lightly on some glitter in those wet spots. And as your paint dries, it will lock it in. Usually I let that lay flat longer, but for the class's sake, we're moving and moving. Aw, oh, Justin, watching us Mickey and watching hockey at the same time. All right, I guess, hey, should we just keep doing all the things? Let's just do all the Tay-Tay things. You guys want to do some splatter on the side, too? You're just going to keep using that chocolate milky consistency, literally the same thing you're doing for the drips. And you're going to hold your paintbrush like a hangs loose, maybe a little closer because I have really small hands, um, away from your canvas. And you're just going to flick your paintbrush. Do, 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 do. And get your splatter on. I just got one right to the eyeball. Spengali, did I see that you were painting today? Are you? And are you saying you love yours? Because I would love that. Okay, you guys, check that. We've got glitter. We've got drips. We've got splatter. Hey, no worries at all. I'm glad that you did some of it with us. I feel like I'm a sporadic case today, you guys. So my apologies. Not in advance. My apologies too late after the fact. <laughs> Okay, we've got Mickey and a field of green. And Dresden's right, it's not a Tay-Tay without drips, glitter, and splatter. You are not wrong, sir. You're not wrong. Okay. So we have a background that Mickey and his big bush. <laughs> Lord Bear, you ain't wrong. Also, hello. <laughs> Nice intro into the peanut gallery <laughs> with that comment. I love it. Um, it is Mickey and his big bush. Oh, look, guys, we've got another drip forming. That's the best. Wasn't planned. And he's filling up a good spot. It is your first time. You just do. Is it the lore bear I'm thinking of? Or is this a different lore? Or is this just a new lore that found your way to the page? Because I have an Instagram follower named lore bear. That does pay nights. Okay, good, good, good. I knew that was too much of a coincidence. Well, welcome to the stream. And hello to future you if you watch the YouTube video again. We are going to paint Mickey's face now. It is quarter after nine. Wowza. I'm just letting time fly. Just like little Rosie asked us before, and she was correct. You, we are about to mix some face color, which is white, red, and yellow. And it's convenient because those are the colors that we also need for the rest of Mickey. So let's get some white out. 100% you're still behind at the moose. Hey, that's okay. You are the one who likes to do them in order, right? Let me red and yellow oh I'm almost out of red alrighty then folks let's get oh I took out the wrong yellow again gosh I did I did this last time and I tried to put it back in the tube and I couldn't. 
I'm gonna have to bring that yellow to something else. Okay. We are about to make some Mickey's face color. And like I was saying to Rosie earlier, cause she's just a little genius artist already. You are gonna take a little more white than anything. A good old chunk of white. You're gonna take a tiny touch of red. Mix it on up and it's probably gonna be way too much red like I just put in there. We're gonna add another touch of white until it becomes a really light, light, light pink because your colors will always dry darker, dry darker on the painting versus on your easel. I just malfunctioned there for a second, you guys. Paints will always dry darker than they look wet on your palette. That's what I was trying to say. So even if your color looks like it's like, oh, that's a nice uh, light pink, it'll probably turn very dark on the canvas. And once you get the light, light, light peachy color that you want, lighter than you think you want, you're gonna add a touch of yellow in there to make it a peachy. And I just mixed way too much. I used too big of a brush, but we're just gonna go for it here. And I will show you up close what <laughs> the color looks like as I just blend my life away down here. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it looks like to you guys. It basically looks white on the screen. It still looks white. I don't know. It's, I swear it is light peachy pink. <laughs> and again, it's very, the paint brush size really depends on your painting. I'm gonna use a medium size just brush. And you're gonna take that light peachy and you want it to be pretty thick. You don't want more water than paint. You want more paint than water. You're just gonna get in there. And you can kind of clean up your lines at this point with this color. And we're just gonna fill that on up. And it's okay if you color in where his mouth is gonna go because his mouth is black and it is easier to paint black on top of any color. So it's okay. We don't have to leave room for that. And it probably just looks like I'm painting white on here, but I swear I'm not. If you guys squint at the picture down below, you can see it's down over here. You can see that it's skin colored. And hello, Ilum. I'm just listening to Justin that he called you out. It does look peach on the screen. Stacy and Adam, I assume, thank you. Thank you for joining the peanut gallery today. I love the peanut gallery always. Okay, so we are filling up that face. How to check Mickey out. Is it something that you'd want to paint? Are you going to paint him? And hello, Ilem. And see how that nicely covers up all of the lines. I'll bring it closer. He's kind of peachy in there. Okay. We've got a smiley little Mickey coming along. His facial features will be the last thing we do. They'll be quick and painless. You might later for your nephew. Fun. That will that's true. It'll be a fun paint night to do for gifts for some people at like people in your lives, kids in your lives. All right, now we've got all these primo colors out. I just trimmed my cat's nails without him biting me. We're all champs tonight. Ilum. And you're
you're a dog. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Your cat's name is No Name? Oh my gosh. Okay, we are going to those red shorts, people. We're moving. Let me know if I'm stressing you out. Yeah, on an account of dogs not being able to talk. <laughs> Beyond the fact of the nails, yeah, and type, it's amazing. Okay, uh, we've got red. I can type, but I can't write. Hey, that's impressive pooch. <laughs> we've got red on our brushes. I'm still using the same brush that we used before. It's a medium pointed guy. You want more paint than water on your brush. And before we start slobbing our red paint in there, we're going to use that center line that we drew, and we're going to draw one long oval on one side because we don't want to color it red. And you're going to paint another big oval on this side. Again, if you want, if you trust your paint, you can paint the whole thing red, um, but then and paint the white over top. But some people's paints, remember, they can't do that. Love the duct tape. Yeah, hey guys, these are... I did learn that on the Red Green Show. Wow, I haven't thought about the Red Green Show in a long time. The Red Green Show or... Um, Tim the Toolman Taylor, Home Improvement. Okay. Now with that red on our brush, you're just gonna slob it on. Fill those shorts. You can either paint right over top your black outline or you can keep it as kind of a rough little outline. I'm probably gonna do both. I'm gonna paint over half of it. Handsome or handy. Look at you guys, look at all those Canadians. Just keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> look at all of us just reminiscent. All the Americans are like, who the what? And again, it might help to be conscious of your brush strokes, but if you like to paint sporadically, tell me to zip it. You can even make them chubbier if you want, like bring that red line out more if you want. You do you, you make that little Mickey whatever you want. Because last step is outline, it'll all be Um, all everything will come together in the end All right, we've got some Mickey red shorts They have a bunch of episodes on YouTube here we go There you go guys if you want to get some good old Canadian culture watch the red green show <laughs> Okay, we're gonna move on to these booties and they're just straight on yellow. So we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing this whole time, slobbing on paint. More paint than water. Oh yeah, no, for sure there, bud. <laughs> some of you, it might help to put some white in your yellow. Just to open bump up its opacity. Did I get it right this time? Guys, we need some updates. What's the score in the hockey game? Daryl? Last time you were our hockey guy, update it. Wouldn't water be opacity? What am I trying to think of? Translucent, if you add water to it, it makes it more translucent. So if you add some water to it, wouldn't it, I mean, if you add some white to it, it would make it like thicker. Yeah, alpaca's less either. Okay, 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 okay. I panicked. Calgary one, Dallas two. Wow, wow. The condition of lacking transparency or translucence. 
translucence is opacity. Oh boy! Is that what you're saying, Yancy? <laughs> if it wasn't you to say that, I totally would have. Opacity. Opacity. Right, I'm saying pacity like a psycho. It's opacity, not opacity. I'm pasty. <laughs> We're about the same color. A nice shade of pasty. Actually, that's true. Justin is more locked to his home than we are. Same, are there things outside this house? Oh, Stacy, this is your favorite color. Stacy's favorite color is yellow, and she thinks this is a beautiful one. Uh, it is. Cadmium yellow medium. And see how, like, mine didn't cover up those lines very well? Oh, wow, it just went pure whiteness. See how mine didn't cover up those lines very well? It's okay. We're gonna go outline everything. It's cool. So... It's time to get to the nitty gritty details, y'all. And it stresses me out for people with very poor condition, um, poor condition brushes. Like if you have a very poor quality brush, outline is not the best time for you. I won't lie to you, okay? So I, always suggest this in my pay nights and I'm sorry that I didn't write this on the thing for people to bring. Justin just called it. Sharpies are your friend, okay? I won't tell anyone if you use a Sharpie today for these outlines because if you have like a dollar store brush that's like thin but the like the bristles are like this and they're like plastic, it doesn't matter what I tell you of technique wise of how to get your line straight. It just won't happen okay it loves taking names no 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 i always say i know you guys are probably like hear me say this every time but it's probably a sin in the art world for me to tell you um to use a sharpie instead but for everyone at home right now who aren't full-time artists and you don't want you just want a cute mickey you just want to be proud of your mickey don't let the haters bring you down okay like Kenzie said, there are Sharpies that have thin ones that don't bleed. Yes, as well. That is great. And you can also buy paint markers. Hey, Mickey, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Molotow is the brand that I use. They are the best. You can use whatever you wish. There's thin, there's thick. That's what I would use in this situation. But I'll teach you how with a brush, obviously, but what I'm doing with these lines, you guys can do with a Sharpie. I won't, it's okay. If they don't get, tell you to use a Sharpie, show them your classy up drips. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. They are classy, aren't they? <laughs> okay. Thin, thick, I don't discriminate against any size. You're right, Kenzie. <laughs> Okay, you silly gooses. <laughs> okay. So we've got a Sharpie in our hands, right? Or this brush, whatever. I'm using a little thin guy, okay? So we're going to start with his face because at this point his face should be dry. We went from top down. This should be wet. This should be almost dry. This should be dry. If it's not, you're going to need to wait a touch or two, but that's fine. You're going to start by just putting a nose in there, okay? And if you look at our reference photo, you can see here like this line is where his little cheek points are, right? Like it's where his face goes from top to the bottom. And right in the middle, right under that line, is where his nose goes, okay? It's just a little oval in the middle of his face. If you are using a paintbrush, you want to have a half and half in the middle. You want a nice amount of water, a nice amount of paint, probably a touch more water than paint. 
But we're not looking for chocolate milk consistency. We're looking for mostly paint. But if there's some water in your brush, it'll help you pull it across the page a little better, okay? And let's just make that little oval in the middle there. Oh! Right? Boop the snoot. Boop! Right in the middle. Again, you can use pencils to help you out. You can do whatever you got to. I actually picked too big of a paintbrush for the rest of it, I think. Let me see. I'm just, it's kind of the same size, but I'm just going to another one. Okay, I gotta try to look at them straight while I do these other parts. Okay, okay, okay. So right above that nose, just a smidgen above it, we're gonna play keep away like I always say. You're gonna draw a nice little thin line following the shape of the nose but not touching the shape of the nose. Usually I don't breathe when I do that but I was just talking and now it's a disaster. Oh well, we got a line there, right above the nose. See what I'm saying? I wish I could wear pants without a belt like Mickey. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not ruined. Remember, you can't ruin anything. All right, that's simple, right? And we are gonna go from that line. We're not gonna go right to the end of it. We're gonna come in a tiny touch. We're just gonna draw a big oval right up. Let's see, where should, how big should his eyeballs be? Like that big? Happy Mickey Thursday! Tender bear, you sweet soul. It is Mickey Thursday. Thanks for stopping by. Always love seeing a tender bear make their way. A tender bear appears. See how we started from that line and we came up to just make a big on oval and came all the way back down. And same thing on this side. Let's go a little smidgen over. Let's go all the way up the same height. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> Use that center line as a point of reference because I messed up and I didn't. So I'm just going to pretend like that's where the center of his head is. But realistically, the eye should go on either side of that little triangle that we made. I want to speak to a manager. <laughs> Just. <laughs> He's there in a second. He was there before I even read your comment. I'm just fixing that up there. Wow. Karen versus Karen, let's go. Okay, guys, you see those ovals? I'll bring it closer, even though I just led you all astray and painted them um, not in the center. <laughs> see how it's thick on that side? I'm just going to cover that up with white there soon. <laughs> I'm a failure. I failed you. And just like last time, I'm going to say it again. You get what you pay for. <laughs> just kidding. No, I can't say that because some of you guys do pay. You sweet angels. A broken heart. Don't play me like that. Okay. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Let's avoid that eyeball that I just stressed out. And we'll just... We're still using whatever we're using at home to outline. And we're going to make that a little much. Both. No mistakes, exactly. See, look, you guys, I forgot who I am today. Happens to the best of us. What can you do? But look, you're right. You used my word against us. We just... You used my saying against us, I mean. Against me. <laughs> guys, <laughs> let's just get back in here. The first time you see me mess up and I like the mistake, well, there you go, you guys. Look at you guys just pumping up my tires. <laughs> okay. 
Where are we going? We are painting his face. Let's put a smiley. Let's go inside of this bump and let's make a, a circle line pointing outwards to make a smile. A smiley face. I'm not perfect, you guys. I'm not. I've never told you I was, I swear. <laughs> and let's go on this side and same over here. Let's make a little concave line. I've told you many times. Lots of white paint. Exactly, that's what I was just going to say. Never any mistakes. You'll just white paint it out. 10 gallon pail. I actually did just buy a huge bucket of white paint. It's really important. Okay, let's make that smile, y'all. Let's go from the middle of that one line that we made and go... Up. Oh, oops, I lost track halfway through. And bring it right back up to the line. Sound effects 100% required. You guys, even when I paint by myself in my head, the sound effects are real. And then let's just remember where we made this little con, this little chin. We want this part of his mouth to go right on the inside of that cut out that we already made. Everyone makes mistakes, even the universe called it. I mean, <laughs> I can't speak today. Everyone makes mistakes, even the universe it created raisins. Wrong, because I love raisins and I love craisins, which are crazy raisins. Um, you ain't an artist if you don't make sound effects while working. Respect, Ilan. Respect. You heard it here first. <laughs> okay, we've got that little mouth inside of this little chin that we made. You can even outline some lines up the edge of that chin if you want. Alright. Do we have a Mickey in the works? And now we're kind of just cleaning everything up as we go. Of course he's going to have a tongue in there. I guess we can paint his tongue first. So I think the easiest for me to teach you how to paint a tongue is literally just do a, a half moon at the bottom of his mouth. By sound effects, do you mean, God, this is hideous, and what have I done? <laughs> yeah, that's a very common sound effect in most artists' background drop, <laughs> for sure. How come your background doesn't do that weird clip thing? I don't even know what that means. What weird clippy thing? Or is that a Justin comment? Okay, we made that half circle. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, that's a Justin thing for sure. We've made that half circle. And now you're going to pick the middle. You're just going to bring it down. With a line. Do you see, you just put a line straight down the middle of it. And then just color in that baby. Right? And now we're just cleaning stuff up. Sorry. It's quiet today? Like I'm quiet? Or just what's quiet? Oh. I thought it was loud before. A Tate coloring book. Hey, it's not. I've thought of a Tate coloring book uh, many times. We should make a Tate coloring book happen. Oh, thanks for the prop. We're just circling things now, you guys. We're just kind of cleaning everything up with a good old black outline. With your Sharpie for most of yous. Mickey looks so fine. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. It's going to be my head all day. 
Okay, and we're just coming around the sides here. Let's make that belly puffy. Also, Kenzie, I just, I don't know why, but my brain just remembered you said that Steve Urkel comment. You weren't here before when we were talking about, um, Mickey is 92 years old this year. And it's like high waisted pants came back. So he might have just, he's a trendsetter, really. Think about it. Is that a song about thinking animals attractive because I have questions? I wonder who the Mickey that song is about, actually. That just reminds me of Breaking Bad all the time. Not Breaking Bad. <laughs> bring it on. It makes me, it's a bring it on. I'm not okay today, you guys. I'm not okay. <laughs> okay, still going through here. Let's just bring his little crotch out to that line. Whoop. Breaking Bad, which episode was that? I know. Just like they're making meth to this song or something. Who knows? I don't know. No, bring it on. Yeah, the Hey Mickey song, Tender Bear. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. Hey Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey Mickey. Okay, so we are going down to the bottom here and let's just outline literally the lines we drew before, but we're just cleaning them up. Again, you can be using your Sharpie. I said, Burr, ch -ch -ch. it's cold in here. I said, there must be some Tauros in the atmosphere. I said, oh, yo, yo. Ice, ice, ice. Yep, that's, that will be in my head for the day, too. Iconic, it is. And you guys, you know what makes Mickey's left feet his feet? It's literally just this one random weird line right here. To show that his foot is like folded, kind of. But again, you're just going to trace the same circles that we've already drawn. And just do that good old line down the middle here. It kind of follows the outside line. Like, see how this foot is kind of at this angle. That line's there. This foot's at this angle. That line's there. And... All right. And his hand. The only thing that's different about the bean is that we just curve it out a little bit. See how I made this line come in before I went out? And same over here, you're gonna go out and just come in a little bit into that bean. beautiful thing about Mickey Mouse's hands is they are comically simple so we're just gonna put one finger which is just a little flip de dip and then two other fingers by just a little line that just goes right to the end and now let's curve that palm and we've got a Mickey hand just like the line in the shoe, you bit the line in his... Comically simple. <laughs> right? Comic? Eh? A comic cartoon? And then let's bring this guy over this way. Meow. Meow. And we're just still coloring in all the lines that we already drew. Just making them... Thicker. Let's do that nice palm curve. And then one finger, one finger. Story of my life, I painted him off the edge.
I just need to, I ruined his face shape. My hands also look like that when taking chicken nuggies out of the oven. <laughs> Is that what your little oven mitties look like? And as you guys do that, I'm just gonna fix. <laughs> no swollen from being burned. <laughs> Justin has a good video of being just destroyed by a chicken nugget. <laughs> okay. A betrayal, that's the word I was thinking of. A betrayal. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? I clean this to make it white, and then I just put my paintbrush right into black. Realistically, you guys, all we have to do is finish his eyeballs and paint that tongue red. And we've got, oh my gosh, on his tail, and we've got a Mickey Mouse. So same as what we're doing before when it comes to the white in his eyes. You're just gonna fill that in white. Yeah, 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 that's what we're doing now, his eyeballs. You just gotta fill in some white, and then if you messed up like me and made that line super thick, that's when you come in with the pure white and just thin out that line. Oh, Kenzie, you missed the conversation we had about the tail, because I didn't think he had a tail either. The ones, like the Mickey that we meet at Disneyland, he doesn't. But, uh... In films, I guess he does. Okay, what's the mandala effect again? Hello, Don John. Why, a uh, thank you, good sir. The Mickey is a success so far. So far, so good. Not all scenes have it, but he was designed to have one. Yeah, I know, I'm like trying to think of like Fantasia is where I think of Mickey the most, personally. I can't remember if he has a tail. At which point do the Disney lawyers reach out to us? <laughs> Just a good old cease. Hey, hey, I wrote their name down there. It says photo credit Walt Disney. So, you know, I'm not trying to pretend like it's mine. This is Michael the rodent right oh my girl <laughs> i've only got a cease and desist from disney for my baby yoda yeah this is just a cartoon mouse with shorts it's fine he's normal Okay, and then while we let those whites of his eyes dry, we're gonna paint a tongue in there, and his tongue is just red with a touch of white in it. He wants, we want it to be just a little bit lighter than his pants. They have me on speed dial already. I know you guys. I'm just a little artist trying to make it out there, and all these big companies are just trying to shut me down. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> the size of your brush so dependent on the size of your Mickey to fill in that tongue. Something just small to fill that space in. They don't deserve me. Thank you for knowing my worth. With I don't even know it. <laughs> I know that's why it's so funny because somebody stole one of my paintings before and started selling it on t-shirts and when I say somebody I mean like a bunch of different places like over 20 different places <laughs> stole the same item and was selling it everywhere and I was pissed about it obviously but I have to be a little hypocritical in the sense of the amount of money that I've made in my lifetime is like a cent in comparison. 
<laughs> to Disney. Exactly like Justin said, I was like, I'm just cutting to their profit margins huge. But hey, it's fair. They are, it's fair. It's hypocritical of me to be mad because I'm doing exactly the same thing to them. So Disney, I love you. <laughs> I was just touching up that red story. I'm not doing anything crazy. This is a time that you guys have to let me know if you need any help with anything. Yo, Zero! Thanks for the trophy. Good to see ya. Thank you. Can't go wrong with a little Mickey Mouse, am I right? Full show. Disney makes more money selling a corn dog than I will ever see in my life. <laughs> Zax, are you happy with Mickey? Birthday, dude. Here, let's make his eyeball and then it'll be done. Am I happy with you? Are you happy with your Mickey? Not my Mickey. Here we go. We've got one eyeball. It's just another oval. On the inside part of the eyeball. Your Mickey looks like an off-brand Mickey. Hey. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, no. I've made a mistake. I'll have to clean that up. Mine kind of does, too, now that I've made these weird eyeballs. I just made mine cross-eyed like me. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Ah! <laughs> I know. Sorry, I'm not teaching. I'm not preaching what I teach. No. What is the word I'm trying to say? But look, I'm just going to go into that skin color. And I'll just plop it right there and it'll be okay. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with this law! <laughs> That's basically exactly what just happened. <laughs> you love him, Nikki. Thanks for watching along at work. Okay, you guys, now we want a corn dog prop. Caffeine? Y'all hear it? <laughs> We want a schlob prop and we want a cat, a corn dog prop, okay? And a real corn dog. That's what I was gonna say. I just want a corn dog personally. Okay, you guys, that's basically Mickey. It totally depends on how many details you want to go in. If we're just doing classic, you might have to paint that black line on his tongue again. If we're just doing exactly like the picture he's done if you want to put some white highlights in there because that oh my god his tail <laughs> i suck at this okay so we're gonna take this little black skinny brush again and we're gonna go in that black paint you're gonna want a nice chunk of water in your brush in your paint by far my best show you guys know i have been so bad today <laughs> I was about to hightail it out of here. Oh, good one. Okay. Taylor, just take a minute. Okay. We're gonna go to the bottom of his cutie little butt. And let's bring that line down. And bring him on up and thicken it at the end. I didn't even drink today, you guys. I swear. I've just had an off day. I wish I was drinking wine. I wish liquor could be the answer. <laughs> I truly do. <laughs> it has been a long week. Yeah, that's an understatement and a half. Oh my gosh, you guys with the props. Thank you. Have a good day. It's gonna get to that point for sure. <laughs> okay, so we've got this little Mickey. How do we feel about him? Get this woman a vacation! <laughs> I actually, okay, I have two huge projects, my children's book and 15 of those huge paintings are due on September 7th and September 8th. 
So that's why you're not seeing much of me for the time being while I get those done because mom is scared. She doesn't got lots of time, but she's got lots of work to do. And now I'm just filled with yellow paint everywhere. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. It's fine. We're good. We're just, we're having a good time. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed Mickey and everyone on YouTube. Sorry that you just came to Taylor's mess of a day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Are you guys sending some in? What am I doing with myself? Have anybody sent in some Mickey's? Oh my gosh, here, let me see. Let me see. Oh, I got half. Tay is broken. Literally, I'm broken. Okay, so I'm not even trying to ditch you. I'm not even trying to go. I just forgot. Okay, Instagram. Here we go. Oh, look at him. Ooh, is that a gold background? Damn, girl. Love. I remember Rosie's. We didn't get a finish of Rosie. <laughs> this is this is Kenzie's Mickey. Guys. <laughs> it's her Mickey Rourke. Rourke? 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 I don't know how to say his last name. Um, okay, do we have any in here? Let me see. Why are my messages not loading? I think I got some in my message request. Oh, Zach's and his wife! Oh, Zach's wife! She didn't send the other ones, but... You guys, Zach's wife had a nice, uh, I love the sass in this Mickey's hips. And Zach's, this is, I know it's before. Finish coming out, okay, good. I didn't know if you guys were still here. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. Here she is, are we ready? Oh no, it's a disappearing message. That's okay, I'll show you guys on here. Let me get that out of there. You guys! They're great! Look at them both! You spilled wine on yours? <laughs> hey, that's... Nothing wrong with that. Is it still living through it? Oh my gosh, you guys. You got... You actually got their body to move... Like... Zach, your wife has... Her body down way better. Audrey, I didn't mean to say your name, sorry. <laughs> Look at me just so bad with the anonymity. Mickey's hips don't lie. Let's see if there's any else. The time is now, you guys, to send them in. I know there's some more Mickeys out there, but I might just have to share them on my story after. Damn, I computer is fully malfunctioning over there. Mickey's hips do not lie. Guys, I have to make a good, what is my, what you call it gonna be today? My thumbnail. I don't have Mickey ears. Put oven bits on? And I'll just be like this. Pull my pants up really high. Oh, that's kind of funny. I could maybe do that. But then you couldn't see. <laughs> My pants aren't in the picture though, so it doesn't work. Um, um, I need like, did I do that? Do I, I need like, I should have put my hair in bubble or in space buns today and then I really would have been Mickey. I feel like Kenzie with the oven mitts is like my best bet. Unless, hold up two circles. I could do that. I could do this. How about this? Okay, Tender Bear. See you. <laughs> I'm just getting dumb for a minute anyway. It's like you, you caught most of the show. 
does this make me like Mickey? But then I can't put my hands out. Wait, 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 I got it. Joe Kaiser! Hello! Everyone's cheering for those. I feel like I need to make bigger ones. Um, I think this might be the best bet. Oh, should I cut circles out instead? You guys with the number ones, put a one in the chat. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was a great start to my birthday weekend. Yay! Zach and your wife. I'm so glad you guys had fun. And so many people were so excited for Mickey Mouse, so thank you. Oh my god, you guys are so funny. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to cut out, I gotta cut out the circles, who are we kidding? It has to happen. And then tape them on there. Actually, why don't I just use the lid? We're making it happen, you guys. The best part of the show is arguably, arguably, when I try to make my thumbnail. <laughs> okay. I don't know because it'll still just get paint everywhere. <laughs> oh no! I got paint everywhere. Okay, I'm getting <laughs> nailed it. Literally. Hairband and tape is the way to do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think there was as much paint on the top. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. How did you get paint on what you didn't even paint? With? <laughs> okay, 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 hold up, hold up. I know the solution. Okay, 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 okay. I'm here for this. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so obviously I need to have a bow, right? Right? Okay, okay, okay. I can see. And then I need, obviously, Oven mitts. Oh yeah, right, because then I won't be touching. Everyone's down for the oven mitts too. You guys are killing me. Okay, here, hold up. Okay, okay, okay. I need to trace a circle. You guys, this is the most in-depth I'm getting for a thumbnail ever. This is always your favorite part of the night, you kill me. It's become such a thing. I don't even know how it got to this point, but here we are. I'm cutting out circles. More rope goes into thumbnails than the painting. You're not wrong. Okay, and it's gonna have a little flap. Thumbnails are serious business. Yeah, they are. The only problem is my ears are gonna be white, not black, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. Okay, okay, okay. Albino mice exist. Okay, you guys. Oh, my bow is too big. My bow is too big! Thank you. <laughs> I'll just use the... I'll just use the headband. Okay, 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 okay. One ear. <laughs> Two ears. Come on. Come on. Wait, they have to go this. Am I blind? 
Why can't I do it? It's the backwardsness that throws me off, you guys. <laughs> no, it's this one. <laughs> Mickey wears their bows to the back. Yeah, they do. Yeah, just pretend you can't see this, okay? Guys, my genius plan didn't work the way, the way that I wanted it to. Now I'm just a sad mouse. I'm a mouse, duh. <laughs> Wait, here, here we go, here we go. Paint on nose for Max Mouse. <laughs> hey, that would be full. That's actually true that a painted on nose would make it full effect, but here we go. I think the solution is bobby pins. One bobby. Eh? No, but I feel, where should my ears go? Oh my god, I could totally Photoshop it. What a psycho I am. That's actually a one techno that's one tech thing that I actually know how to do. I'll Photoshop the black nose. Okay, it's hard for me to do this backwards. That's the real deal here. The show just goes on for four hours because I just can't get my Mickey ears right that I could Photoshop on in a second. This one just needs to stay in. Realistically, we're good, you guys. I'm Mickey if you ask me. Cartoon Mouse with shorts, Alibaba, one dollar. <laughs> this is just where we're at. Dan's gonna come home and I'm just gonna be like, Oh, I didn't say it right. Look, I said it good before, but now this one just, now I can't stop flailing my little donk. I almost called it a donkey ear. That's weird. It's a mouse ear. Whew. Well, you guys, that was an ordeal and a half. I'm sure we got some winners in there. <laughs> Sorry, I was such a disaster today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe get this girl a nap is right. I actually, I'm going to work, you guys. Who to thank it? Hope you guys had fun. Faze, hello, you've been doing a lot. Don't you worry, same. That's what we we're literally just talking about because I couldn't even keep a sentence going today. I was just all across the map. You think donkeys have bigger compared, bigger ears compared to their face than mice? You are very correct, Ilum. Yeah, bigger ears, that's what I thought you meant. You are very right. Zero, asking when's the next broadcast. Thanks for that cake, by the way. And oh my gosh, terrible me, I don't even... Thursday for sure. At this point, all I can, can lock in stone is every Thursday, Thursday, so you never forget. Uh, every Thursday at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, I will be here doing another paint night. I know it's so, I'm supposed to be on a regular schedule, but I just have some, like I said, some crazy deadlines that are in, uh, uh, they are my priority right now and they, I can't not miss them. So I'm in the middle of some crazy jobs until next week. I mean, next month. Crunch Tay seems to lose sentence structure. She does. She can't even keep her brain on straight. So my apologies across the board. <laughs> I'm not supposed to keep it casual. I am supposed to have a structured schedule, but I just don't know what day is what at the moment. Uh, Mom is crashing, <laughs> as you can see. Arlo, thanks for the drums. I just, I keep missing all of these things. Thank you guys are so sweet to me. Spoiling me even though I just put on the most distracted show of all time. <laughs> Kenzie will guess spot. She'll do a dating advice show. Hey, guys. Gladly. I will gladly let Kenzie take over the stream for a couple hours. 
She's more entertaining than I am, I think. Co-host on Zoom. Yeah, you can just like, I'll be working and then Kenzie can be on Zoom and she will like ask the questions for me and stuff or something. Maybe we can do that. It's like, this is what my studio looks like at the moment. I'm back to those big paintings and then on this table is like my whole children's book over here that has, I have about 30 more pages to do on that. So that's just lovely. And then there's more paintings over here too. Like whoop, good old sneaks in there. Thanks chat for the last, yeah, the chat was hit. The chat was on fire today. You guys made the show, that's for sure. But uh, live draw along, yeah, so maybe we'll do something like that because that's my problem. When I stream, I can't work, like work on my paintings and talk to you guys at the same time. It's really difficult for me to do both. Um, but Kenzie might be able to help. That would be cool to like direct the conversation. Chat is always worth a laugh or two. That's true. I love my peanut gallery. Tay gallery. <laughs> Should I just take that too? <laughs> you know, uh, did I make that paper flower looking thing? Actually that my sister-in-law, let's just loop around. Come on, keep going camera for her wedding. She made this huge, it's like, it's tall as our wall. I think it's like an eight foot tall flower wall, fully out of like computer paper for like the photo wall at their wedding. And they've had it for years. They've been married for about five years. Um, so they, when they moved, she wanted to get rid of it. And I was like, no, it's beautiful. So now I paint uh, around it. So now there's like cool splatter on it and it caught. There's some nice pictures in the background. Trees scream silently in the distance. <laughs> Hey, that's true, but we recycled it, right? We didn't throw it out at least, it came to me. And then maybe I'll recycle it to someone else and it'll just forever have a home. <laughs> but I don't even imagine how long it took, but yeah, every single flower hand curled. Pretty crazy, pretty great. C. <sighs> okay, you guys, well, thanks for still enjoying the show even though my brain was half somewhere else. Um, gotta wake up early for our hike in the morning. Oh, no problem, Zax. I hope you guys had so much fun. Happy birthday. Enjoy the weekend. Everyone say happy birthday to Zax again one last time. Um, you guys sending me productive vibes. Thank you. And Alo, use it as a found medium. 100%. 100%. I'll keep it forever. But... Yeah, guys, again, you know, I'll be here on Thursday. If I'm here on a different day, I will post about it. Don't you worry. But I just kind of have to get these projects done because there is a lot of um, money on the back of it. So I have to hit those deadlines. Um, uh, crushed it. <sighs> Zero. Thank you. Thanks for the coffee. Happy day of birth to Zach. We've got happies all across the boards. Thank you guys, you're the best. Thanks for still coming even though I've left you hanging all week. And uh, we'll see you soon. See you on YouTube or Instagram or my Etsy or my new website, taytasky.com. You know, like anything, you guys let me know. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Your dad wants the Mickey. Your dad can have the Mickey if he wants. Even with the green background, he wants it. It's for your dad then, sold. For free. <laughs> plug it, plug it. Okay, you guys, here, I'm just distracted again. Talk to you soon, you're the best. Up for the up drips, 10 out of 10. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye guys, you're the best. Yeah, Daryl, she's yours. I'll send it your way. Okay, guys. Bye.